Sir, you have five seconds to leave the premises. Five, four, Another day, another mission, risking our necks for the Ark. You know, I ask myself, Dux, why are you out here? And you know why. The Ark's water pump is broken again, and Hammond said he needs more scrap to fix it. Yeah, well, we'd do it a lot better if he'd sent us somewhere with actual scrap to find. Why do you have to be so annoying? Come on. We gotta head back before Prep closes for the night. Hold it, ghouls. I don't like the look of that big one. We have to be sneaky. Okay, here's the plan. We turn off our lights, then hug the water, go around them. There's a cabin up ahead. Definitely feel a ghoul vibe coming off of it. So we run in? Guns blazing? Too dangerous. If we're sneaky, we can get into a good position. A good position keeps us alive. Turn off your flashlight. Of course the world ends. You did it to us. When the ice melted, you said nothing. When the plague spread, you did nothing. When the nukes dropped, you became nothing. At least that's what the Elder says. But cheer up. You'll be happy to know that despite your mistakes, life remains. In a small settlement high above a raging river, people are living and thriving. We call it the Ark. The Ark is humanity's last outpost, a lonely island in an ocean of chaos. Within these walls, we help each other create a new civilization on the ruins of the old one, with the guidance of our leader, the Elder. The Elder tells us we're safe as long as we never leave, because outside these walls lies the zone, the never-ending wasteland. Mass graves spanning the planet, littered with your crumbling monuments to your hubris and arrogance. What the Elder chooses not to tell us is our food and water supplies are running dangerously low. That's why he relies on stalkers, adventurers who leave the Ark, explore the zone and scavenge for precious resources. Stalkers are tough enough to resist the rot and they got the smarts and the firepower to keep the zone ghouls at bay. Stalkers have to be more than human. 
that's me, Mr. More Than Human, a.k.a. a mutant. I look weird to you, but hey, you look weird to me. So let's leave it at that. If the Stalkers come back from the zone alive, the Ark survives another day. If the Stalkers don't come back, the legacy of mankind will be lost forever. At least, that's what the Elder says. meets us at the elevator. He says he doesn't have a second to lose. The mission's too important. Our mission, he says, is a man. And that man is Hammond. Everyone in the Ark knows Hammond, respects him. He's our lead, gearhead, going farther into the zone than anybody else, bringing back the machines that help us survive. He knows how to keep those machines running, how to fix them when they fall apart. Hammond keeps the Ark's heart beating. The Elder says three nights ago, Hammond took his team of stalkers and headed north, not telling anyone why. They haven't come back. I've never seen the Elder this shaken before. It scares me. He tells us Hammond has a remote cabin in the north that could yield some clues to his location. Me and Ducks never patrol that far before. But the Elder says he has faith in us. He believes in us. So, this mission we accept. Go to Hammond's cabin, search for clues, then find Hammond and bring him back alive. The fate of the Ark depends on it. this goes down, for the right price, I fix and upgrade your shitty gear. Any questions? After a killer day in the zone, you know you can always come to Prips for some high-quality grog. You want to get loaded? Order a shot. No butane, no bleach, only natural ingredients. I also dabble in a little, uh, antiquity trading. So if you find any cool artifacts out in the wasteland, bring them to me and I might give you something in return. Comprende? You know the drill. Stalkers want gear that keeps them alive. I, Iridia, provide the gear. See anything you like, just let me know. There is one rule. Don't ever, ever pull my chain. If you pull my chain, I'll feed your ding-dongs to a zone wolf. Got that? Beautiful. Happy shopping. My home will always be a haven to you, brave stalkers. After your journeys, pay me a visit, and I'll offer you some guidance, perhaps a story, to help you become wise and strong. <laughs> Thank you for letting this old man ramble. Go in peace, stalkers. Zongul stripped this cabin clean. Almost everything useful was gone. But it's a good thing ghouls can't read. They ignored the diary hidden inside Hammond's desk. Me and Ducks aren't big readers either. But we look for answers in the diary. And all we get is more questions. Hammond writes how he found the crash machine near his cabin. He's convinced the machine was sent as a message from a mythical place beyond the zone called Eden, where everybody's happy and safe. When Hammond sees another machine fall north of here, he takes his stalker crew up there to find it. I close the diary. Here's the problem. Eden's a fairy tale. Some bedtime story mutants believe in, so they can get to sleep at night. So either Hammond is onto something, or his brain's got the rot, and he's about to kill a bunch of good stalkers. Guess we gotta find out.
Me and Ducks have to go north. Farther from home than we've ever been. It's dangerous. Ducks thinks I'm crazy to press on. I don't disagree with him. Wow, whoa, whoa, check this thing out. It must have crashed. Look at this symbol on the side, it's like a star. Stay right there. Who are you? You're Selma, right? You're a mutant like us, on Hammond's team. Do I owe you money? No. Did I kill your brother? No. Then Selma I am. Who are you? I'm Ducks, and he's Borman. Hello? Like the only walking duck and boar in the whole arc? Come on. That's funny. I think you've mistaken me for someone who gives a duck. I've got to catch up to Hammond before it's too late. You're part of Hammond's crew. How did you get separated? It was weird. We were all hearing strange voices, not from the zone, in our heads. And that's when the ghouls ambushed us. After the fight, I was somehow blinded, paralyzed. I could barely move. I told Hammond I'd catch up to him when it wore off. Two long, rough days. But I'm better now. He headed up north to a crash site to find some metal ship. Says it was sent from... Eden, I know. Do you believe him? If Hammond thinks there's an Eden, there's an Eden. Believe me. You guys are trying to find him too? And we can work together. This is insane. You want to go more north? Into Ghoul Central? They'll kill us. A lot of ghouls have tried to kill me, but I'm still here. So, am I part of your team or what? I'm happy that you took on this mission to find Hammond. As you go deeper into the zone, questions will arise in your heads. You'll ask yourselves how this world became a wasteland. I'll tell you. A long time ago, a strange disease sprang up in a city not too far from here. A vicious disease. The eyes of the victims would go red. They would bleed from their ears. Hence its infamous nom de plume. The Red Plague. Within 40 years, the plague destroyed most of the human race. A quick rake of death, scraping across the face of the planet. It was nature's revenge. Revenge against the greed, the arrogance, the egos of humans who thought they were gods. We call these fools the Ancients. We don't worship the Ancients like the madman in the zone do. Because our salvation doesn't depend on false gods who live in the heavens. It doesn't depend on the mirage of paradise beyond the zone. Our salvation depends on us. Us means humans and mutants together. And as two of our resident mutants, I bet you wonder who you are. <laughs> Where you come from, I wonder too. We all do. When I found you in the zone, you were shivering, naked, memories completely wiped. We took you in, taught you, and now, you serve us as our hunters, our trackers, our warriors. We are indebted to you, stalkers. Never turn on each other. Hear me? Ghouls are one thing, but the Nova Sect are on a whole other level. They're some strange cult that promises the ghouls eternal whatever, as long as they work as their slaves. They say they hear the voices of the ancients. Eh, well, maybe they do. Years of breathing that zone air gave the Novasek telepathic powers. At least, that's what I heard. Way north of here, I mean way north, there is a place that was once the grub hall of the ancients. Ancients came from far and wide to eat their special god grub at this place. Grub gave them their powers. Want to know what they call this place? Pizzeria. The smell of gunpowder fades. We're safe. 
for now. We free the prisoner. He's a stalker named Magnus. Part of Hammond's team. Selma's partner. Magnus is a mutant too. Not on the outside, but on the inside. He's got powers. Mind powers. But he's not insane like the Nova sect. He's calm, real calm. Tune into some frequency only he can hear. Magnus tells his tale. Him and Hammond were ambushed by the Nova sect. Nova sect heard about Hammond. Heard he could talk to machines. Get machines going. So they left Magnus here to die. And took Hammond south to their hangout. They call it the Spear of Heaven. Nova sect would make Hammond interpret the gifts of the ancients and open the gates to Eden. Whatever that means. Magnus thinks they're gonna blow up the zone and take the Ark with them. I suggest we rescue Hammond before something goes boom. Selmer and Magnus agree. Even ducks. My brave, fierce stalkers. You make an old man feel young. I heard of your recent exploits and how your search for Hammond now leads to the Nova Sect's base in the south. They call it the Cathedral, but it is anything but. My brave stalkers, I pray you find Hammond in good health and return him here safely. If the Nova Sect probe Hammond's mind, The Nova Sect's leader, Plutonia, is obsessed with some prophesied doomsday that never comes. The end of the world isn't coming fast enough, so Plutonia wants to jumpstart Armageddon with weapons left here by the ancients. Weapons that tore this place apart. Weapons Hammond could be forced to restart. To worship the ancients is to worship death. We are the lights that never go out. We are the Ark. And you will save us all. May your search for Hammond continue in complete safety. Here those zone dogs are getting big. I mean, big. I hear they can knock you down if they get a running start. So don't go petting them or anything. And they travel in packs, so if you see a dog barking for his buddies, <laughs> get the hell out of there. That advice is free of charge. Those Novasek morons have no direct line to the ancients. That's a load of rot. What they do have is a steady supply of mushrooms. And I don't mean the mushrooms growing in your toilet. I mean magic mushrooms. Well, not magic, but they do make you feel like you're someplace else. Talking to a unicorn, playing a ukulele or something. Never tried eating them, but they sound like fun. Thanks for the help. Not that I needed help, I was just getting my second wind, you know, but... I admire your fighting skills. You need skills like that in the zone. Especially against air control machines that want to quarantine you. Whatever that means. Hey, we're some straight up machine killing freaks. That's how we roll. What's your name, lady? The name's Pharaoh. Don't ask me where I got it from. I don't quite know, really. I was raised in a settlement. Thought it was the only settlement left on the whole wide world. But meeting you lot makes me feel a bit more, well. Hopeful. Who are you? What are you doing out here? We're stalkers from the Ark. We're headed south to rescue our friend from some lunatics called the Nova Sect. Heard of them? You're asking me if I've heard of the Nova Sect? Mate, the Nova Sect butchered my bleeding settlement. They put their mind control junk into the rest and led them away like cattle. I'm the only one that got away. So, yeah. I know the Nova Sect. I'm hunting them. I'm gonna make them pay. 
You'd be the perfect addition to our crew. If you help us save our friend, we'll help you take down the Nova Sect. As your search for Hammond leads you deeper into the zone, you are seeing things I've never told you about. Strange things. I have withheld certain facts from you. Because, well, your innocence gives you hope. And the Ark needs hope. But you ask questions. So I will give answers. When the world fell apart, a few of humanity's best and brightest constructed hidden bases where they could survive. These bases were called enclaves. One was deep beneath the ground, another at the bottom of the sea, a third orbiting the planet. The best and brightest trapped inside their enclaves grew paranoid, then hostile. They created machines that did everything for them. Metal monstrosities that granted their every wish, except immortality. The ancients' best and brightest all died, but their machines remain. Someone told me they saw a machine that walks on two legs out there. Looks like a metal man, they say. Hey, I'm not surprised. The ancients left behind a lot of wacko stuff. I'm seeing wacko stuff a lot lately. I was a stalker for 20 years. Spent quite some time out there. One night we were south of the Ark on patrol. We went inside an ancient building that was filled with grog. Giant metal vats of grog. When we drank it, we thought we died and went to space. I could never find that place again, no matter how hard I tried. Welcome to the Castle of Light. <laughs> Forgive me for not providing the illumination this castle is known for. I pray that someday we will once again become a beacon of light for weary travelers. Nice to meet you. We heard your voice out there. Are you Lux? Lux, I am. You say you heard my voice in the zone? Quite interesting. Perhaps the fates brought you here. You look strong, well armed. You get things done, yes? Hells yes. We're stalkers. We take everything the zone throws at us and then some. Then I humbly request your assistance. There is a pack of renegade ghouls who wish to keep the zone in darkness. They stole the key to the sacred sanctum, where the lights get their power. <laughs> Perhaps you can help me recover this key from the ghouls. It's a special key. You wouldn't miss it. Return it to me and I'll reward you handsomely. <laughs> I like handsome rewards. We'll deal with the ghouls and get your keys. Ah, the stalkers return. And you've returned the key to my sanctum. My machines will once again hum with energy, and the lights will shine so bright they will be seen by the ancients in space. <laughs> Thank you, stalkers. <laughs> Thank you. You're getting closer to Hammond. Good. Seeing more ghouls too? <laughs> Not so good. Where do ghouls come from? I'll tell you. As the Red Plague burned through the human race, civilization fell apart. Between two tribes of ancients, a war started. That war grew into a world war. All the weapons they swore they'd never use, they used with wild abandon. When the war was over, the world lay poisoned. 
Soldiers who had nothing left wandered the zone to live in the irradiated wastelands. Those soldiers beget little soldiers, who grew up and beget other little soldiers, who after a few centuries became the ghouls you see today. You want me to call the ghouls humans? I refuse. Ghouls are not humans. The rot has stripped the souls from their bodies, leaving only rage. Rage that jumps from one generation to the next, getting stronger and stronger. The ghoul appetite for arc blood will never be sated. Remember that the next time you face them. Ah, oh, my saviors, saviors, dirty little saviors. I, I wish I washed my hands so I could shake your hands and paws uh, or whatever's growing out of your arms. I I'm not racist, I'm not. Please, tell me your names. You're talking a little crazy. Are you okay? You're the only survivor of your community. Your brain must be... I mean... What we're trying to ask you is, are you a freaking whack job or what? No, no whack job! I'm Emma, Emma the cook. I'm the one who cooks and cleans for the pretty, pretty people. They were pretty. For decades, we hid from the zone. We were safe until the ghouls found a way in. You first hear their screams, and then the lights went out, and you can hear the scraping and the chewing. Hey, I'm no warrior. I'm just a cook, you know? Emma, dirty little coward. We thought the last settlement was the Ark. We didn't know you existed. Well, you got to get out of the Ark more, mate. Get some exercise. We should get you out of here. Wait a minute. Did you say Ark? Oh, boy. You don't want to hear this. You really don't want to hear this. They kept saying they were going to destroy the Ark with some uh, 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 weapon uh, that they're bringing to their masters, uh, some weird religious shit. They want to blow up the Ark and kill everyone inside, everyone. Listen, these ghouls have a lair to the north. The leader's called the Grey One. They're just multiplying up there, breeding like zone rats. Please, please do something about them before it's too late. Hammond's barely alive when we find him. But we find him. We find him as a team. With Hammond, the Ark's heart can start beating again. We think our mission is complete, but Hammond insists on telling us a secret. A secret that rips a hole through the middle of my life. He tells us he's been to Eden. Yes, the Eden. The mythical place beyond the zone where the secrets to life are kept. He says Eden is a base for the ancients, who are very much alive and creating the mimer machines we've been seeing. He says the ancients do know the secrets to life, but not human life. Mutant life. Me, Pharaoh, Selma, Magnus. Our ears perk up. If ducks had ears, they perk up too. Us mutants don't remember jack about our pasts. We're walking amnesiacs. We wonder why some of us look like animals, and others have powers we don't understand. Finding out who we are sounds like the quest of a lifetime, or a very big mistake. There's a problem. Hammond tells us the Novasek probed his mind, stole the location of Eden from his thoughts, they're headed there now, determined to unleash the power of the Ancients and cleanse the zone, which means killing everyone inside the Ark. Our home. He says there's one chance to beat the Nova sect to the gates of Eden. Go through the Forbidden City, he says. It's a shortcut and the Nova sect are too scared to go through. That doesn't make me feel too good. Hammond begs us not to tell the Elder, because the Elder won't accept the truth. Our mission was a man. Now it's Eden. We have one final journey to save the Ark. But if us stalkers discover who we really are, will we want to come back?
Your mission is complete, stalkers. You returned Hammond safe and sound. Our machines will hum with new life. The Ark is forever in your debt. Thank you. My little birdies have told me. Hammond thinks the fabled Eden lies beyond the Forbidden City. And you are thinking of going through the city to get to Eden. Have I taught you nothing? There is no Eden. And even if there were, entering the Forbidden City is impossible. That is the city where the Red Plague started. The ancients in charge thought they could quarantine the people by building a giant wall that covered the entire city. It stands to this day impenetrable. You should stay at the Ark and heal your wounds. No more adventures. Thank you for letting this old man ramble. Go in peace, stalkers. You defy me. You defy your elder. I told you not to go through the Forbidden City. The city is a tomb. The Red Plague poisons its air. Strange beings patrol its grounds, perversions of the ancients, and still you go. Still you seek this ridiculous Eden. There is no Eden. Stop this foolishness before you get yourselves killed. No matter what the Elder says, there is life beyond the Ark. You see those giant machines floating in the sky lately? <laughs> Where do you think they come from, huh? And that is that. Arc 1, Nova Sect 0. Their insane plans to destroy our home vanish into the wind. We're safe. Our people live another day. The smoke clears. Ears still ringing. On the edge of my blurred vision, something comes out of the Ark. Light dancing across my arm, up my face. I look up. I'm being scanned by some giant eyeball. Then Dux and Faro get scanned. Then Magnus and Selma. The light cuts out and the eyeball darts back inside the wall. We hear pistons churning, gears turning. A machine humming back to life. The gates of Eden open. Maybe Eden sees we're mutants and welcomes us home. We stand there in silence. The five of us are all mutants, found and raised by the Elder. This feels like an answer to the question that's plagued our lives. Who are we? And do we go in and find out? When Ducks and me first started out, everything was cut and dried. The Elder knew best. There were no answers in the zone. Mutants didn't know who they were, where they came from. And that was fine. No one cared. But now, after the enemies we fought, after the friends we found, after all we've seen, the five of us stand here at the gates of Eden. Do we go in? Do we want to know who we are? Check this out. I think this is a corpse of an actual mutant. Never seen a dead mutant before. Well, proves we can die. That's a happy thought. Whoa, check out this picture. That is one ugly monster. Wait a second. That's Borman. 
We huddle around the screen. The words, Mutant Project Blink, on and off in big red letters. The screen turns black, then explodes with a flurry of flashing images, faster than we can take in. I catch glimpses of mutants in test tubes, animals in cages, strands of code, something called DNA. The screen freezes on one final image. An employee profile. A scientist of the Mutant Project. It says his name is Ingmar Edison. His face. When we see his face, those eyes staring back at us, we couldn't believe it. It was him. The profile says his status was revoked after stealing mutant experiments from the lab. Memories come flooding back. We were the experiments. They raised us in tubes and played games with our DNA. Made us freaks. The Elder was part of this. Happy endings died with the ancients. Why didn't he tell us? Who is he? The room spins. The truth comes flooding back into my brain. Everything I know is a lie. I lose my balance. As the room turns black, a voice crackles onto the radio. Ghost-like, ethereal, like the ancients call it down from space. Command Center Sweden. Coming, Command Center Sweden. I repeat, Command Center Sweden. Command Center Sweden. Coming, Command.